Yugo Nagata from uh, Sarawai Oasis in Japan. Uh, that this presentation title is Extending View Updatability by a Novel Theory Prototype Implementation on PostgreSQL. As this shows, uh, I would like to introduce a novel theory to extend the view updatability of RDBMS and talk about a prototype implementation of this theory. Uh, this is a joint work with Tosta Masunaga. Uh, he is uh, uh, author of the paper of the, uh, this theory. Uh, this work is based on his idea, the which I call a novel theory here. And it will, I will talk about the current status of its implementation on PostgreSQL. And I would appreciate if you hold your questions till the end of presentation, please. <coughs> Okay, this is the outline of this talk. Firstly, I'll introduce a problem that we are trying to resolve, a uh, view update problem. In this part, I'll explain what view update problem is and how it is handled in PostgreSQL and SQL standard. Then, I'll talk about theory to resolve this problem. Uh, in this part, I summarize the problem and introduce our new theory using uh, the intention-based approach, we call this. I'll explain the basic idea to resolve the problem and the algorithm called pro forma guessing. <laughs> Next. <coughs> I'll talk about prototype implementation of the algorithm, which we are developing uh, on PostgreSQL. I'll also talk about the new feature of PostgreS 10 used in this implementation. At the end of the part, I'll show you some, explain, uh, some examples of demonstration about this dem uh, implementation. Finally, I'll summarize the talk and finish. Well, before I introduce view update problem, I'd like to start what is a view. Originally, views were first introduced by Dr. Code, the investor of the relation data model, in 1974. And now, as you know, almost RDB MS including PostgreSQL support views. A view is regard, uh, can be regarded as a virtual relation. Oh, sorry. Virtual relation uh, based on the result set of the uh, stored select queries. Any data of view is not contained in the database and only the uh, view definition is contained. There are a few purposes of the view support. The first is to simplify complex queries that are used repeatedly in applications. Thanks to support, this, this view support, user don't need to write long SQL queries many times. It also provides logical data independence. So if relation schema in the database is changed, application that access the relation via view maybe not have to rewrite the SQL code. And view is also used for security purpose by hiding some information from some users. This is a, a simple example of views. Well, EMP is a relation representing uh, employees 
the field is employee number, employee name, uh, development number, and salary. And uh, K41 EMP and PUA EMP is a, uh, th 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 these are views. Uh, this is a view of uh, employee whose department number is K41. And uh, this view is an employee whose salary is uh, lower than 30. Why calls the lower one uh, lower than or why calls thirty? Yes. Um, this relation EMP is a base relation of these views, and uh, the data this table data is contained in the database. Uh, so it can be said it is a real relation, real relation. Yes, and. These views, uh, these views data itself uh, is not contained database, and only view definition is uh, in, the, in the database. So these are called to be virtual relations. Okay. So uh, what is view Apple problem? Well, a view is regarded as a, a relation in uh, virtually, virtually, but it's uh, regarded as a relation. So users maybe have uh, motivation to handle views as a regular relation, as sa as same as possible. That is, it would be it would be good if user can access to views as the same manner of relations. Uh, actually, uh, read queries, uh, that is, uh, select statements, were well, uh, always uh, acceptable to the view. Uh, if user issue select query to views, it is modified, uh, it is related to the query, to the base relation, it is always okay. However, uh, as you know, update, queries, that is delete, insert, update statement, these are not always acceptable. So views are not always updatable. <coughs> so one question is, what kind of views are updatable? And if one view, a view is updatable, uh, you uh, request, update request to the views have to be translated to com uh, request updated to these base relations. So second question is how to translate updated request on views into uh, updated request on base relations. We call this problem view updated problem. Here is an example of not updatable view. Uh, R and S is a base relations. Uh, each have two columns. And uh, this view, V uh, is a natural join view of R and S from R and S. <coughs> and then, uh, request to delete uh, a, B dash, C from uh, this view is issued. There are three translation alternatives. T1 is delete A, B dash from R. T2 is delete B dash, C from S. And T3 is executing both T1 and T2. Uh, but however, uh, we uh, but we can't determine uh, which translation is the answer because uh, either of uh, one each uh, of them is uh, realize this request. Uh, so 
we can determine which is the answer. So this is called, we call this translation ambiguity. And in this view and in this uh, update request, translation ambiguity cannot be resolved. So we can say this, oh, sorry, this view is not updatable. <coughs> By the way, we can say that uh, the view update program is already resolved partially because, as you know, PostgreSQL support automatically updatable view since 9.3. Thanks to this feature, update query to simple views are automatically updatable. Uh, the conditions for automatically updatable view are uh, here, as described in PostgreSQL official document. First, the view must have exactly one entry in its from list, which must be a table or another updatable view. And second, the view definition must not contain with distinct group by having limit or offset clause at the top level. Third, the view definition must not contain set operations, set operations that is union, intersect, or accept. Finally, the view select list must not contain any aggregation, window function, or set of returning functions. And as shown here, this is very restrictive, so very limited. So, for example, any view containing join cannot be updatable. With regard to the SQL standard, uh, the condition of PostgreSQL's automatically updatable view is basically according to SQL uh, 92. Although a few conditions are relaxed. After the, uh, after the SQL 20, uh, 92, uh, view updatability is largely extended at SQL 1999. Uh, in this specification, uh, views including join and union all view are updatable under some conditions. And some conditions, uh, and Oracle DB supports it partially. However, still, it is still restrictive. Uh, here, someone may say uh, it's no problem. You can do anything using instead of trigger, and it will resolve the problem perfectly. Yes, uh, it is true that users can create instead of trigger on compressed views and do any actions you like in the trigger functions. If this trigger function converts the a pro, uh, attempt to query into appropriate actions on other tables, this will work well. However, in this matter, basically you have to define specific triggers for each build. And although you can define any action using instead of triggers, the best way to combat the attempt to query Appropriately is not clear. So instead, we would like to propose more general manners to extend, extend view updatability. So, for now, I'll talk about uh, uh, the theory to resolve the view update problem. Uh, this is a novel theory proposed. Uh, last year uh, by Dr. Masunaga. And this is called an um, intention-based approach. Uh, okay. In this figure, uh, first let me summarize the problem using the figure and equation. Uh, it's not difficult. Okay. In this 
uh, figure, uh, B is, notation B is a view definition. And S tau is state of base relation at time tau. So uh, S tau is base relation, and using view definition, we can get uh, th the state of view relation, my data in virtual relation at uh, time tau. And now, uh, if a flat request for view u is uh, provided, we can get u v s tau, u v s tau. This is a uh, uh, desired result of this update. Um, this desired state. Next, we can consider some t. This is a, a translation of update request. Using this translation, uh, update request for view is translated to uh, update request to on uh, base relations. And so current base relations and translated update request. Using them, we can uh, get uh, updated base relation, state of, state of updated base relation. And again, we use uh, view definition. We can get uh, VT U S tau, uh, right term of this equation. This is uh, where the result of uh, the view station after applying this translator request to uh, best relations. And then, if this equation is obtained, uh, left terms equals uh, right terms. Uh, this view is, we can say this view is updatable using this translation T. Uh, this equal means there is no side effect. That is uh, desired uh, result and uh, actual result is uh, the same. And we can, uh, we can, we have to find this translation uniquely. So only one translation should be uh, there. If there are several translations obtain this, obtaining this equation, we cannot determine which is the answer. Uh, this is uh, ambiguity. To resolve this problem, uh, traditionally there are three approaches. Um, Syntax-based or functional approach, uh, semantics-based approach, and interaction-based approach. The syntax-based approach and semantics-based approach try to resolve the problem using uh, view definition and update request logically, and, and on the other hand, interaction-based approach tried to the problem uh, using uh, interaction with user and systems. So uh, these uh, theory are studied, ha have been studied, but uh, view update problem, problem is not yet fully resolved. So this is an old problem, but not disabled. So we can say this uh, problem is an old and but new problem. Now, uh, we have uh, proposed a new uh, novel theory. This is the intentional based theory. Well, in this theory, uh, the problem is uh, resolved by uh, 
best thing the user's intention of update using algorithm, algorithm called view updatability based on pro forma guessing of update's intention. Okay. Uh, the basic idea is that uh, computing each translation candidate temporary so that we can guess user's update intention uniquely. So, uh, Traditional approach uses only view definition and update uh, request information, but it uses uh, also the data in database, the current data in database. So in this approach, view updatability is depends on data in the current database relation. In Uh, this figure shows overview of the algorithm. Uh, this algorithm is called view updatability based on pro forma guessing of update intention. We create a temporary materialized view from the race relation, base relations and view definition. Using this information, Temporary, we can temporarily materialize the view. Okay. Uh, and, okay. And using this temporary data materialized view and update request to this view, we can get desired result of the update request. And and then, in addition, we can generate uh, translation alternatives to of uh, update request to base relations from update request to the view. Uh, there is some uh, several alternatives. Using one of alternatives, we can uh, calculate uh, result of a trans translation alternatives using base relation and view definition and one of alternatives. Finally, we can compare desired result and uh, result of a translation alternative and comparing this, we can guess uh, which one is answer. So we can only one translation to realize, uh, to, uh, to realize that the result, result uh, desire to obtain desired result, we can say that translation is the answer and this view is updatable. Here is an example of pro forma guessing of update intention. Uh, there is a national join view of from relation R and S. And if uh, delete A, B, C, and A, B, C dash from this view <coughs> is requested, these are three uh, translation alternatives. Uh, delete A, B from R, delete B, C, and B, C dash from S, and executing both T and T. From these alternatives, only T1 realize the desired result without side effect. So uh, T1 is a user's update intention and this view is updatable. Uh, next example is that uh, using the same views and relations, when uh, delete A, B dash C from V and V, V, v is requested. Uh, there are also three translation alternatives. Delete A, B dash from R, delete B dash C from S, and executing both. However, uh, all, of, oh, excuse me, all of T1, T2, and T3 realize the desired result, this request. So we cannot determine which is answer. So we cannot 
uh, realize, if we cannot resolve loop translation ambiguity. So uh, we cannot guess the update intention and uh, we, this view is not updatability. In this data and with this data and with this request. Uh, so far, we have explained only join view, but our theory can handle updatability of a generally defined view. Uh, in this algorithm, a view is uh, defined recursively using best relation uh, and predefined views. And uh, this recursive structure is expressed as View definition three. Uh, for example, uh, consider this view. This view is uh, join of join of EMP and uh, D, M, DEPT and uh, selection with fair and projection uh, with select. So we we can just view like this. Uh, we can uh, check updatability uh, using this uh, scanning this tree recursively. So uh, we can uh, check updatability of views generally defined with def generally defined view. So next we talk about implementation of prototype. Uh, they are we consider two prototype implement, uh, 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 this prototype is uh, uh, implemented as, as a proof of, con proof of concept and the purpose is to test feasibility of this uh, theory. And in the current version, this prototype is developed as an extension of PostgreSQL. So I don't touch PostgreSQL core code, but maybe in future, uh, we should touch core code. We consider two approaches, uh, rule-based approach and trigger-based approach. Uh, rule-based approach, in rule-based approach, uh, we can implement this using uh, rule system in PostgreSQL. As you know, View support of PostgreSQL is realized with by rule systems. And this is relating query to another uh, query. Queries. Well, so, so maybe it, it might be natural to implement our algorithm in rule systems. In rule systems, but uh, update request is provided as a query tree, that internal structure of PostgreSQL. Uh, this is very informative, but uh, complex, so uh, it is difficult to handle this in our algorithm in the, in, in the current version. All, uh, in addition, if we implement the algorithm on rule systems, uh, we need to modify PostgreSQL's core code uh, largely. Uh, so, so we decided to use uh, the other approach. Uh, other approach is trigger-based approach. In this approach, uh, we can implement the algorithm in trigger functions. Uh, in, and update request is provided as a list of tuples, tuple stores. Uh, maybe in future we may, we have to this use this approach, but but now we decide to start with the trigger based approach. But there is a one there was a one problem of instead of triggers. Uh, in PostgreSQL, 
statement level instead of trigger is not supported, and only low level instead of trigger is supported. But we need to process multiple tuples at the same time to translate request. Uh, so we can not use uh, low level instead of trigger. So we decided to use statement level after trigger instead of instead of triggers. Uh, this get possible using Postgres 10's new feature. This is transition table. Uh, transition table. This is a new feature of PostQL 10. Uh, this is a copy of uh, the release note of that part. Uh, uh, as this show, transition table is uh, the table to record change loads in uh, available in after trigger. The transition table is uh, such a table con uh, that contains uh, that. Its contents are accessible from the server side language. So we can use this from trigger functions. Uh, the contents is the before or after image for role affected by the statement, which via the trigger can be accessed, or accessed as a tuple stores in after trigger functions. We use uh, tuples in these tuple stores as a requested request for views. So this is the overview of the implementation. Uh, this is the three triggers, before trigger, instead of trigger, after trigger. In before trigger, we, uh, in, in the before trigger, uh, the view definition tree is built. And instead of trigger, it's doing nothing, basically. basically. But it is necessary to suppress auto-updatable views. And main uh, function is after trigger. In this function, uh, extracting the request for the view from transition tables, and check the view updatability, and update the base relation, if possible. In before triggers, uh, we built a view definition trees. View definition tree is converted from query tree. So this query tree is available by get view query function. This is a API of rule system of PostgreSQL. Uh, as a requirement of this view definition trees, we need to convert uh, any subtrees of this tree to a scale query of view definition. This is uh, because uh, to check the view updated uh, recursively, any subtree needs to be temporarily materialized. Uh, here, I said materialized. Uh, in fact, uh, simply just creating a temporary table because it have to be updated. And in after triggers, uh, update queries for update requests for views are extracted from uh, transition tables. Uh, this is uh, examples. These are examples of uh, update request for uh, this duration and this views, uh, natural join views. Uh, delete from V first, large C equal C dash is uh, expressed as delete A, B, C dash, A dash, B, C dash. That's a, a list of tuples uh, format. Also, update b set c equal d plus c equal c dash is writing this tuple to these tuples. Uh, in, uh, in the case of insert statement, it's a simple, just inserting uh, 
list of tuples. And this uh, list of tuples are extract, extracted from the uh, tuple stores. And this is uh, TG old table and TG new table. This is a member of trigger structure. This is available in after trigger function. Okay. Uh, to up check uh, view up the update ability, uh, we all stand uh, the view definition tree from the top recursively to down. And this during this work, if we find a join node, join view node, uh, we use pro forma guessing algorithm to check view updatability. In this process, the subtree of the join node, uh, this is orange box area, and the children nodes, that are uh, green box areas, uh, temporarily materialized, uh, just create a uh, create as temporary tables. And in proforma guessing algorithm, firstly, uh, the update requests are divided for base relations. Uh, for example, insert a b dash d a b dash e into B is invited into A, B dash into R, and insert B dash D, B dash E into S. And using this request, uh, alternatives of translation is generated. Uh, the, these alternatives are determined uh, logically. Uh, it, it can compute it, compute it logically. In this example, we can generate uh, 10 alternatives and check if only one of these alternative natives can realize the desired result, we can say the join view is updatable and the transition, uh, so only one translation is the answer. This is a how, uh, example of how it works. For example, uh, this is uh, two relations uh, base one and base two, and this uh, uh, natural join view uh, named v, v. Then, uh, issuing insert query into V, and uh, in default, uh, this occur, it occurs echo error, of course. Uh, in our implementations, uh, in our uh, in extensions, uh, we create a function add view ext this uh, add trigger function to the view. And after uh, executing this function, uh, we can insert, we can issue insert query to view v. For example, uh, insert v value one, two, three, one, two, four, uh, we can insert two tuples to view, this blue tuples. Uh, actually, uh, two tabs are inserted to be base two. However, uh, when trying to insert two to two, uh, this is not applicable uh, based on pro forma guessing. Another example. Uh, when uh, issuing delete from uh, one three, we can delete two tuples from view. Uh, These blue tuples are deleted from base two. But what, uh, when removing uh, condition is C equal four, this is not updatable. Uh, in update example, uh, we can uh, we can this we can issue this update query. Uh, we can update two tuples of green tap, uh, green area, but uh, some update query is not uh, issued because 
based on pro forma pro uh, guess pro forma guessing. Okay. Uh, we show another uh, other example, another demonstration. This is EMP relation and DPT relation. Uh, and this is uh, join of these relations. This is a B definition, uh, just a simple join. And then we uh, try delete from this view here, uh, TNO equal K41. We can uh, pen issuing delete to abuse, uh, we get error. It's, it's a default error. So we add view extension, this view. Uh, and issuing same delete query. Oh, <laughs> this is a debug message. But, uh, t but we can delete two tuples. And the, uh, we can delete two tuples from view. Uh, and we can two tuples. We can we delete the two tuples from uh, this uh, these relations, employee relations. From here, reset. So this is the initial state. Next, we try to delete uh, K81. But uh, we can we get error. This is not uh, issue. We can don't uh, we can. Do it. We cannot do it because uh, deleting uh, K81 rows, this this tuple, we cannot determine uh, we should delete this tuple or we should delete uh, K81 this tuple. We cannot determine which should be determined de deleted delete. So uh, we get errors. In conclusion, uh, we have I have introduced a view applet program, uh, and we introduce a novel uh, theory called the intention-based approach and algorithms called pro forma guessing of applet intention. Using this algorithm, we can. Uh, uh, using this algorithm, join views are applicable in certain cases, although they are not applicable in the traditional approach. And uh, we show uh, current implementation of prototype implementation of the uh, algorithm using trigger based approach and using uh, transition table. This is a new feature of Postgres 10. 
uh, oh. as a future plans, uh, we should handle the limitation of performance issue of this implementation and theories. We have some uh, many limitation, and uh, we have a uh, serious performance issues. And the uh, purpose of the from uh, prototype information is test feasibility of the st uh, theory. So we should test using this prototype in many, in many cases, in many relations, in many join cases, in, the, in many views cases, and give feedback to the theory to elaborate short to it, and uh, again elaborate the implementation again and again. So in this process, Maybe we might need to investigate the rule-based approach instead of the trigger-based approach. That's, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Currently, mm, currently there is no public, oh, okay. uh, only papers. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay.